takedowns and then went into some guard passes and then, then went uh, getting mount, controlling mount, then working the arm bar, the, the arm triangle, and then went into the guillotine. Just uh, simple but effective moves. You know, when you have a seminar, it's, uh, it's kind of hard because you have a wide range of skills from people that are brand new, that haven't trained at all, to people that are up to higher belts. So you have to, you have to kind of try to find a, find a, a skill set that's going to help everyone out, but that's going to it's going to help the lower people, but also it's going to keep the more advanced people entertained. So I kind of bounce back and forth between, you know, really basic moves to more advanced moves. Huge turnout today. I'm not sure the exact numbers, but it was, uh, I mean, the whole math recovered. It makes it, it's, it's a good and bad thing. It's great showing that you have that kind of that kind of people in Phuket interested in MMA and Jiu-Jitsu, but then it makes it a little hard to go show everyone, you know, to make sure everyone's doing the move right, but it was still great having uh, having such a great turnout, you know, such a such a good, positive, enthusiastic crowd come in, you know, here out, out in Thailand and Phuket, you know, there's people from uh, all around the world, and it's great to see MMA growing worldwide like that. Obviously, everyone knows Muay Thai is so big here, but it's great to see that there's also an MMA and Jiu-Jitsu scene out here, I think just because... Mixed martial arts became so popular worldwide. I think you know a lot of these martial arts are almost combined now. It's like you know you guys want to train Muay Thai, they want to train Jiu Jitsu, they want to train wrestling. It's, it's for me that's why I've been training forever. So it's great to see that worldwide people wanting to come and train everything all, all together.